Hi everyone, so this is Pharmacist and Drugs and today I'll be talking about how general anesthetics work. Well, general anesthesia is used to induce a reversible unconscious state which makes patients unable to feel anything and remember anything from their time under anesthesia. This is done using a combination of chemical agents which act on the body to induce a state of unconsciousness and sedation. Some of the effects of general anesthesia include lack of response to noxious stimuli, amnesia, a state of sedation, it causes muscle relaxation and also raises the pain threshold. General anesthesia is safe in general and effective way and it is an effective way of inducing reversible unconsciousness in patients undergoing medical procedures. The effects of anesthesia are very short term and patients usually wake up feeling back to normal within a few hours. Well, there are two general classes of general anesthetics, inhaled agents and intravenous agents. The inhaled agents are administered by means of breathing mask or tube connected to an anesthesia machine. The most commonly used inhaled agents are dysfluorane, enfluorane, halothane, isofluorane, methoxyfluorane, nitrous oxide, and sevoflurane. Xenon may be used but is very rarely used. The intravenous agents are available in several formulations including barbiturates, benzodiazepines, and other drugs including etomoidate and ketamine. The most commonly used barbiturates are amobarbital, methox, methohexital, thiamylal, and thiopental. The benzodiazepines commonly used are digipom, lorazepam, midazolam, and the other intravenous agents include etomidate, ketamine, and propofol. We will be discussing about all this in the next slide. Now let us know how, what is the mechanism behind these general anesthetics that is propofol and sevoflurane. So they increase the activity of inhibitory GABA receptors. And what are these GABA receptors? These, are, these receptors are a type of neurotransmitter receptor found in the limbic system. And this is an area of the brain involved in memory and emotion. And how these GABA receptors work? The GABA receptors allows the influx of the chlorine ions, which results in hyperpolarization of the neuron. In other words, the voltage within the cell is more negative than the extracellular space and this decreases the likelihood that the neuron will fire. This propofol, propofol and sevoflurane both increase the chloride current going into the cell and this results in an increase in the potential of the cell. In other words, the neuron will be more likely to be inhibited. And to summarize, we can say that the mechanism of propofol and sevo Fluorine involves the increase in the activity of the inhibitory GABA receptors and this is done by increasing the chloride current in the cell. Well, there is another popular general anesthetics that is ketamine and let us know how this ketamine works. So this ketamine primarily functions by blocking excitatory NMDA receptor and the NMDA receptors are located at pre and post synaptic terminals and act as a type of glutamate receptor. The NMD receptor allows the sodium and calcium ions to enter the cell while permitting the potassium ions to exit. This increases the cellular voltage relative to the extracellular space and increases the probability of neural firing. When the ketamine is introduced, it blocks the NMD receptors, thus decreasing its excitatory action and this is the primary mechanism behind the ketamine and this is how this ketamine as a general anesthetics it works when it is administered well i hope you like the video if you like it please share it and subscribe to our channel pharmacist and drugs